Hey guys, it's Melanie. Happy Tuesday. Welcome back. Hope you're having a great day. So today uh, we're going to switch things up just ever so slightly. <laughs> so today I'm going to do my device update and I will upload part two of my skincare updates uh, tomorrow. It just, it just worked better for me to do that. But anyway, so um, yeah, yesterday I uploaded some skincare updates, just letting you guys know about some new products that I recently introduced into my routine. If you missed that video, I will link it in the description box down below this video. Um, so feel free to go check that out, but I will do part two uh, tomorrow. So today um, I wanted to share uh, some skincare device updates because I recently made the decision to stop using certain devices for a, a certain amount of time. I made the decision to start to incorporate um, a device that I haven't really used very much. And there are two devices that are staying in my routine that I really probably don't ever see myself discontinuing use of. So anyway, I, think I just thought I'd share that and kind of give you guys my reasoning. Um, I always like to be very upfront with you in terms of anything that I do to my face. Um, I do a lot. So the progress that I've made with my skin is probably the combination of a lot of different things, um, a lot of different skincare ingredients, a lot of different devices. Um, you know, I just, I think I, I like this game of playing with skincare. It is not for everybody and I don't advocate testing out skincare, um, at the rate that I do. Really what's best for most people probably is to just establish a solid routine where you know what products work for you, you use those products. If you happen to get to a plateau, maybe you'll switch up one thing here or there. Um, for me, I have found over the years that keeping my skin guessing has been a really great way of um, keeping it looking its best. So, and that's really my goal with my skin is I know it's never gonna be perfect. I'm never gonna have completely flawless skin. My pores are not going anywhere but I can make things look as good as I possibly can. So I don't know, that's why I play the skincare game. Um, but again, I don't advocate that anybody does things the way that I do. So, all right, that being said, um, what am I keeping in my routine? So the very first thing I wanna mention is uh, my droplet. This particular device I was originally introduced to through Penny over at Penn Smith Skincare. She um, actually was in contact with the creators of this particular product and um, was raving about it on her channel. They ended up reaching out to me and asked if I wanted to test the product out. Um, I said, I'm certainly interested. So they sent me this device and then um, a, just a small box of their capsules with a few of the different formulas and um, well, one of each of the formulas for me to be able to try. Um, I really like the collagen formula and so I have maintained the subscription to my droplet ever since um, receiving the device. So I pay for the 30 pack of the collagen um, droplet capsules every single month myself. So that's not something that they send me, just so you guys are aware. So. I fell in love with this product because it is sort of the perfect hydration for me in the morning. The collagen capsule, I feel like really deeply hydrates my skin, but it does it in a way where like I can use additional moisturizers and it doesn't feel too heavy or I don't, a lot of times I don't even have to use an additional moisturizer. Um, I just, you know, I feel like it gives me the hydration that I need to keep my skin from thinking that it's like Sahara dry up here, that I'm like drying up all the oil. So I just, I don't think my skin overproduces the oil quite the rate that it used to. And I do think that this device is certainly helping in that. And I think just the formula in general is a great fit for me. Um, like I said, I can pair it with any of my other products in my morning routine. If I need to add some additional moisture, maybe during the winter months, I can with some other light essence type products. But this for me is usually enough. So I just, I love the way that this plumps my skin up. It makes it look 
perfectly hydrated, healthy. It is helping to maintain my skin's protective barrier. And um, yeah, I do think that the way that the skincare ingredients are driven into the skin with the actual device is different from some other misting products that are on the market. That being said, I don't think this is a necessity in your life at all. If you get away with just using uh, layers of light essences or you have a really beautiful moisturizer that works perfectly for you, then you may not be interested in something like this. But I do think that if you've always had your eye on this device, I've really enjoyed using it. Um, I haven't had any issues with mine, but I do know their customer service is fantastic. There have been some people that have had some issues with their device, either stopping working or it kind of like sputters the formula out sometimes. They will either help you problem solve that or they will send you a new device if anything happens with it. So I don't know. I just, I think they have great customer service and so far I've really enjoyed using this. And it's something that I really don't ever see myself doing away with in my routine. The second and most, probably second most important part of my routine is my red light therapy. Um, by the way, I, ha I have a discount code for this. If you're interested, I'll put it in the description box down below. Um, so there you go. I'll put links to any of the things that I'm sharing if you want to go read up more about them. So the second thing that I'm never going to give up is my Mito panel. Um, I have the Mito Pro 300 and I've been using this for, it's, I've, it's well over a year at this point. This particular device has the near infrared as well as the red light. One thing I do want to mention is there are people who can develop hyperpigmentation from near infrared, um, but do just fine with red light therapy. So if you are one of those people that develops the hyperpigmentation, just turn off the near infrared mode and just use the red light and you should still be getting some great anti-aging benefits for your skin. But the reason that this device is not leaving my routine is that it, I use it for way more than just the like skin benefits at this point. I feel like the red light um, therapy really helps to improve my mood, especially if I'm really struggling. Um, I do think that it can actually help promote um, a, a better sleep. Um, I was having some struggle with sleeping last week, and honestly, for the last couple weeks, I've been a little lazy using the red light device. Um, I've just been a little bit discombobulated, and so I wasn't doing all of the same things that I normally do. And I do find that typically after doing a red light session, I feel very relaxed, very zen. And when I'm in that type of state, it's much easier for me to fall asleep at night. I just don't have as many things swirling through my brain. I really use this red light therapy time to um, sort of just meditate and chill out and force my brain to shut down for a little while. It's fantastic for that. Um, also, red light therapy can be great if you are experiencing hair loss. There are certainly a lot of those red light caps on the market right now that you can purchase. I really like having this panel because it gives me a lot of versatility. Um, I can use this easily on my head. I can, you know, sit in front of it and sort of move my head around so that it can get to my scalp. Um, it's just, it's a really great versatile device that I just, I don't know. And as far as just the skincare benefits, I think red light just in general helps to stimulate that collagen production. It just helps your skin look more plump, more youthful over time. Um, so I think, you know, the skincare benefits are fantastic, but the additional benefits outside of like the beauty benefits are what keeps me coming back to this and using it on a consistent basis. So right now I try to, my normal routine is three to four mornings out of the week. I will come in here and in the morning do a 10 or 15 minute session. Sometimes if I do need that additional relaxation at night, I will do another like five to 10 minute session in the evenings. Um, but you really, there are points and at which the red light therapy just kind of becomes mute. So 
Um, I don't think you need to use it every single day. Um, it's become a regular part of my routine, but I also think that once you get past the initial period of like, you know, getting used to using the product and using it consistently, you can sort of taper off a little bit just to like maintain the benefits. So I feel like that's kind of where I'm at with this bad boy. I love this Mido device. This is, I also have the light stem as well. And the light stem is great if you're looking for a handheld device, but this is just a lot more versatile. Um, I have a discount code with Mido. If you're interested, I'll put it in the description box down below. Um, it'll save you 5% off the purchase, which I know isn't much, but these devices are somewhat expensive. So, but I love it. And um, it's not something that I'm going to be eliminating from my routine i don't think ever it just makes such a difference for me in a multitude of ways now let's talk about a couple of devices that i'm going to be putting away for the foreseeable future and it's not because i don't recommend these devices anymore or that i think they're bad or they're like causing my skin to deteriorate in any kind of way it's just that um, sometimes I think it's good to take a break and to um, see what your skin does <laughs> just after you stop using certain devices. Um, here I am saying that after claiming that there are two that I will never give up, but these two I think are, they're kind of somewhat negotiable devices in that I don't think they're an absolute necessity. I think they're nice to have, but um, anyway, so the Tripolar Stop VX, um, this is a um, radio frequency and DMA or EMS device essentially. And the reason that I'm stopping this particular one is I, I kind of think that I might go in with the radio frequency still once a week or once every other week. But um, the DMA or the EMS, I kind of feel like is something that at this point, I don't know that I should be using on my face anyway, because I, so EMS is to be used predominantly on the lower part of your face. Like you don't want to be using that on your forehead. You can use microcurrent on your forehead, but EMS is just, it's a much deeper stimulation. So it's just not good to do that on your forehead. But around the jaw is really where the EMS is sort of best suited to. And um, I, don't want to, I don't want to stimulate my masseter muscles because I do have Xeomin injected into them to help me with my teeth grinding and clenching. So I'm not looking to exercise or build these muscles up because that is going to undo the purpose. <laughs> of the um of, of the botox or well xeomin of the tox in my jaw so i don't want to build those muscles up again i'm trying to keep them weak so that i don't have the strength to clench and grind my teeth which was leading me down the road of requiring gum graft surgery i my dentist was like you gotta knock this stuff off and <laughs> honestly i'm I'm not comfortable in the retainer at night. I don't, it, usually I spit the retainer out in the middle of the night. So the retainer wasn't working for me. Also, I clench and grind during the day. So I needed something that was going to be like 24 hours a day type of situation. The Xeomin does that for me. It's perfect. So for that reason, I really don't need that. Um, I don't need the DMA mode on this right now. So I'm just going to put this away. I do have an interest in starting microcurrent. Um, I think microcurrent can definitely be used on the upper part of the face. So I'm thinking of uh, testing out a microcurrent device and see how that goes. Um, it's a much weaker form um, of muscle stimulation than the EMS is. So anyway. So this one is gonna go away for a little while with the exception of if I feel like I wanna do like a radio frequency session. But even that, I feel like I can take a break from for a few months and just see if my skin regresses in any kind of way. I don't know, it's fun to test things out. And in the same vein, the Even Skin Lumo device, I'm gonna give this guy a rest. I've been using this on my neck for like, gosh, I think it might've been close to a year with this device as well. I've been using it very, very consistently. This has several different modes on it. Um, this has radio frequency, this has the EMS. It's also got a couple of other different options that you can use on here. I think this is a fantastic device and I've really enjoyed using it. But again, I think it's good to just take a break. I just wanna see how my neck does 
without using the device on an ongoing basis because I feel like right now the skin on my neck just has been in really great shape like it feels very tight like nothing feels crepey or saggy so I feel like I've gotten to a really good place and I think this might be a good time to just test out if not using this device on my neck will have any kind of like bad effects or if things start to regress so more than anything I'm just kind of curious so I'm gonna give this one a rest for a few months and we'll see how the old neck meat ages so and then the device that I haven't really been using super consistently for several months now that I kind of want to get back into using because I really like it a lot is the Foreo UFO. Um, I actually have some green tea and some Manuka honey masks that I purchased during a sale somewhere and um, never used them. So um, yeah, I'm going to bust those out and I'm going to start using this device again. Um, this is one of those like this is super extra. You do not need this. Uh, there are people who have talked about how to hack masks for this device. Um, I, you can certainly Google those videos, but I really like the formulation of the Foreo masks. Sorry, itchy leg. <laughs> so for me, um, you know, I, I don't think that they are like exorbitantly priced, but it's definitely kind of an extra type of treat. Anyway, I have the device, so I might as well try out the different formulations in their masks and let you guys know how they work for me. So yeah, the Foreo uh, UFO is coming back into the routine. Um, I'm gonna charge this bad boy up and then tonight I'm gonna get started with the, I think I'm gonna get started with the green tea. Um, it's supposed to be more of like a purifying formula. So I don't know, probably a good thing to try in the summer months. So yeah, you guys, those are my updates. So this is what I am, um, eliminating what I'm keeping what I am reintroducing and um, I'm gonna try to keep it a little bit more I guess a little bit more simple in the device department for a little while and see what happens to my skin anyway thank you so much for taking the time to watch today I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day and um, stay tuned for the skincare updates with the other products that I've incorporated here um, tomorrow. All right. Take care. Toodaloo.